it is clear as day, beyond any shadow of doubt, that the estate tax liability of the Marcos estate in the principal amount of 23 billion pesos had long become final, executory, and appealable as of September 1997 when the Supreme Court denied the motion for reconsideration of Marcos Jr. That was almost a quarter of a century ago. This decision can no longer be questioned before any court. No court can overturn this decision. Now Marcos Jr. and Imelda Marcos are the co-administrators of the estate of Marcos Sr. Section 91D of the tax code provides, and I quote, the estate tax is imposed as imposed by Section 84 shall be paid by the executor or administrator before delivery to any beneficiary of his distributive share of the estate, end of quote. The estate tax shall be paid by the administrator. It is the administrator who is obligated by law to pay the estate tax. Now, Revenue Regulations Numbers 12, 2018 and 17, 1993, implementing Section 91D of the Tax Code provides, and I quote, the estate tax imposed under the National Internal Revenue Code shall be paid by the executor or administrator before the delivery of the distributive share in the inheritance to any heir or beneficiary. Where there are two or more executors or administrators, all of them are severely liable for the payment of the tax. They are liable. Let me continue. I'm quoting now. The executor or administrator of the estate has the primary obligation to pay the estate tax, but the heir or beneficiary has subsidiary liability for the payment of that portion of the estate tax, which his distributive share bears to the value of the total estate. End of quote. So, very clearly, it is the administrator who has the primary obligation to pay the tax. It is imposed by law on the administrator. And the administrators are Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and Imelda Marcos. Clearly, the tax code and its implementing regulation impose upon the administrator of the estate the primary obligation to pay the tax. Thus, Marcos Jr. and Imelda Marcos are legally and primarily mandated by law to pay the estate tax before any heir, including themselves, can receive a single centavo from the Marcos estate. Now, this is now the criminal aspect. Section 255 of the tax code mandates, and I quote, Any person required under this code or by the rules and regulations promulgated thereunder to pay any tax liability who willfully fails to pay such tax shall, in addition to other penalties provided by law, upon conviction thereof be punished by a fine of not less than 10,000 pesos and suffer imprisonment of not less than one year but not more than 10 years, end of quote. So, the administrator is primarily liable to pay the tax under the law. Tax code says that. The rules, implementing rules says that. And if they willfully fail to pay such tax, they will be liable criminally up to 10 years imprisonment. In short, Marcos Jr. and Imelda Marcos can be charged criminally by the BIR and the DOJ under Section 255 of the Tax Code for willful refusal to pay the SA tax of the Marcos estate. The refusal to pay the SA tax is willful because almost a quarter of a century has passed since the SA tax was declared final and executory by the Supreme Court. And still, Marcos Jr. and Imelda Marcos have refused to pay a single centavo of the SA tax, which now has ballooned to $203 billion due to interest. 